In this corner, we have the custom creator, the crafty connoisseur, Etsy. And in uh, this corner, we have the small industry undertaker, the customer handshaker, Amazon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to see who wins. Uh, let's go. What is up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for coming back to the return of the Dad I Vlog. I want to thank you guys for you know just being a part of this journey. Again, if you haven't already, make sure that you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, make sure you hit that little notification bell so that you don't miss a video. Excuse me, darling. Tell me exactly what is it that you do do? This year, we are going on a $1,000 a day passive income journey. This is just the beginning. We're kind of getting all the print on demand stuff kind of talked about now the way. And because of that today, we have a very interesting um, fight, if you will, <laughs> over two platforms that are great for print on demand. One of them is Etsy and the other one is Amazon. Now, through the month of December, I had a very interesting month with both of these services and I decided that I would do like a comparison and a fight style because I figured it'd be fun to kind of do it like in a boxing match kind of fight. Amazon versus Etsy style. So let's get into round one. Round one. These numbers right here were done by Etsy. Okay, so let me tell you a little something about Etsy numbers. So Etsy numbers are usually um, your gross numbers, not your net numbers. Um, that doesn't make no sense. My man. Because that means that that's the overall amount of money that you made from that product. That means it doesn't account for returns. That doesn't account for, you know, product defects or whatever else, or the price you had to pay for the actual product. That's how much you actually pay, what Etsy paid out. And then you had to buy the product or you had to ship the product or you had to do whatever yourself, okay? So, that being said, this number right here is a little misleading. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. If you are watching people that are talking about Etsy, because I actually was able to take home maybe about a quarter of what you're seeing up here. Okay, so it was like, it's like, what, it's at 3808, so I probably took, around, took home around $800, I would say, Maybe, um, actually, does it say on there? I think it might actually, no, I don't think it says, it just says the total revenue. Anyways, so it's about like $800, maybe $900 to $1,000, okay, of this actually was take home. Cool. But I also have to say, I also have to say that, you know, in that I had to answer like 15 emails. I had to go back and forth. I had to deal with returns myself. I had to, you know, ship them back and forth myself. I had to deal with returning product to the print demand company. It was a lot of work for basically a thousand bucks for the 15, um, uh, for the 30 days. Yeah, we can handle this, okay? <laughs> I think we're fighting a losing game. Now, a lot of people are like, hey, a thousand bucks, I'll answer 15 emails, and that's great. If that's what you want to do, then, you know, this is something you should look into. However, this number right here is my merch on demand, my merch, <laughs> my merch by Amazon numbers. Now, the beautiful thing about that is I didn't have to do any customer, um, eh, what's the customer satisfaction, customer service or any of that stuff, because Amazon handled all of it. Amazon handled the returns. Amazon handled like everything. I didn't have to do anything. So this right here, the number that you see right here is 100% profit. That means that every penny of this came into my bank account without any, you know, talking to emails, any um, returns. Any, any of that stuff. Basically, this is kind of like, you know, the passive income business that people talk about and dream about where, you know, you check in on it once in a while, you got more money, you go back to the beach and you sip on the pina colada. If you like pina coladas, and you do that kind of stuff. So round one, in my opinion, because that's the kind of business that I'm trying to grow as far as a passive income business goes to Amazon. Round two. Okay, so round two is a very interesting um, round because even though I didn't have to return 15 emails or whatever with Amazon, um, I didn't have the ability to because I didn't have customer data. Data, what are you doing? Apologies, Captain. 
I seem to have reached an odd functional impasse. I am uh, stuck. Now that's a very interesting thing because with Etsy, you actually get customer data. You actually get a way to contact your, your customers, maybe turn them into longtime customers by, you know, offering them a freebie or offering them a discount, which is also something you cannot do with Amazon. You cannot do discounts, you cannot do sales, you cannot do any of that stuff. So, you know, that's something else to think about if you're looking to grow a business, but it depends again on what kind of business you're looking to grow. If you're actually like a, looking to curate and make a relationship, and have clients that you email, you contact, build a database, which is actually a good idea, then I'm gonna to have to give this one to Etsy. Because even though the numbers are smaller, I actually have a client base there that I can reach out to, that I can contact. Now, again, it depends on what kind of business you're trying to build. If you're trying to build a business where you're hands-on, or maybe you turn it off to an assistant, or even like, you know, some kind of like, virtual assistant where they're contacting your customer base and curating a relationship and doing all kind of stuff, then Etsy's probably better for the long haul. However, if you're looking to say, hey, look, I'm gonna create a product, I'm gonna ride this one until the wheels fall off, it's gonna make what it's gonna make, and I'm gonna, re gonna create some more later when it stops, then you wanna go with Etsy. However, because of the whole data age that we're in, I'm gonna have to give round two to Etsy. <laughs> round three. Round three, this is a very interesting round because again, this is kind of like a personal preference. And as a judge of the two platforms, I have to inject my own personal preference. So looking to build, you know, $1,000 a day revenue from probably 15 to 20 different sources, maybe even 10 different sources, I could not imagine spending, you know, um, every day answering you know scaled up if that's like so say like last week we made you know roughly ten thousand dollars you know passively but say that you know we multiply that by three okay um i could not see myself answering 45 emails every month and i know you know that's a great thing to have if you're a company to have access to customers where you're like engaged with them and you're talking with them but the kind of passive income that i'm looking to build is Income that allows me to serve people, allows me to help people, but then also allows me to have my time back. And answering 45 possible emails every month is not really something that I want to put on my radar. So for round three, I'm going to have to give that to Amazon. So in my scenario, Amazon was a clear runaway, runaway winner because what I'm trying to build is a passive income business that allows me to serve but doesn't allow, doesn't take up a lot of my time. Doesn't, you know, make me, you know, do a lot of um, time consuming work. So for me, Amazon is a clear winner. However, that may not be the same for you. Let me know what is best for you. What do you think, what do you think about this whole idea of, you know, uh, building a business slowly with Etsy, having all the data, having all the customer information, having all that stuff, or just having a thing where it, you know, gives you a check a pretty large check every month that is totally stress-free where Amazon takes all the, you know, the worry and stress out of customer service. However, they also keep all the data. What do you think is the better play in, for yourself in the future? I would love to know you guys' comments in the um, comments below. Let me know what you think. Also, down below, I have a link, a free download to the four things that we're going to be getting into this year, um, or at least the four things that we're going to get into right now. Make sure that you get that free download. It's available to you for free, and you can kind of get an understanding of where we're going and how we're going to do this and how we're going to move towards $1,000 every day um, for the year 2020 passively. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, make sure you share this with your friends. Leave a comment below. It helps the channel a lot if you click the like button or hit the subscribe button. It just kind of tells the whole YouTube algorithm that, you know, hey, there's something I'm interested in and it helps us reach more people and help more people kind of go on this journey with us. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button and the notifications bell and leave a comment if you will and get all your downloads down below and we will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye. If you have liked this, if this has helped you, make sure that you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the notifications bell, and make sure that you join us on the next video. And we will see you guys in the next video.
Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.